All right. Uh, I am Joel Amos, the movie bench. Uh, very nice to meet you, Malgo. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a, a extraordinary, extraordinary work. Um, uh, I was curious, actually, how do you think your experience making documentaries uh, helped inform the immense challenges that were Infinite Storm? Uh, hugely, very much, you know, because it, we, 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 we shot this film partly like a documentary, I can tell you. You know, it's a very, it's a low budget film, uh, limited shooting days, 25 shooting days. So we sat together with my DP, Michal Engler, who was also a kind of co-director of the film. And we said, we can do it only one way. We can do it almost documentary way. So we have to put those two actors up to the high mountains mm -hmm. into these crazy conditions, put ourselves there too and film it. So yes, and it was like, uh, it was really challenge, I can tell you. Yep. <laughs> so sometimes you see they are so tired and they are really tired for real. They are yep. not acting. Yeah, it's kind of hard to fake that. That's that's one. That's the common thread through the entire film. Is is none of it is 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 can be faked. And and one of those things that's so raw and real is Naomi. Uh, she's amazing, and she had to be for this film to work. Um, what was it about her that most impressed you? About her, the the, the she's so brave. You know, she 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 said she commit. She said yes, I'm in. So, but she said, I'm very limited with my time, my, my time, but I'm coming and I'm here for you all the time. So she was like, in the moment she arrived, she was dedicated to the project 100%. She never, never complained. Can you imagine? Never. She was always like there. She gave herself fully to the project. So I was kind of, maybe not surprised, but even kind of like, that's not what do you think about and Hollywood stars, right? Right. So dedicated, amazing human being, great actress, um, no, amazing person. So also that's why maybe she's so believable on the screen, you know, because she really dedicated herself to this project. Yeah, it comes through every frame. It really does. And I can't imagine, just for you, what was it like shooting in those conditions? I mean, cold, ice, <laughs> snow, wind. It was crazy, you know, it was totally crazy, but uh, I love it. I <laughs> love it. I was, you know, each day, like, it was like I was healed, you know, <laughs> like, like she's healed by hiking. I was healed by also hiking because, you know, it was so many so many locations we couldn't um, achieve uh, by car. We've been walking, walking yeah. you know, miles. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was hard, but it was not the same. I was coming back home and each evening I was sleeping like a baby. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it that made you want to pursue filmmaking as a profession? It's not like it's a, an easy way of life. I don't know, you know, maybe I wasn't, I wasn't like uh, conscious what I'm choosing, you know, I was very young, I was 20, 21 years old when I uh, went to film school in Lodz, very famous one, when very famous, many famous uh, director, they've been there, and, and they just say, say, yes, you are in, you know, I was kind of surprised by this fact, and then I was doing my short films. I then they've been very successful around the world, like Cannes Film Festival, this and this. And then step by step, I started to treat this more and more serious, you know, because at the beginning I was like, maybe it's not serious, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm just going to the school. Let's see what's gonna happen, you know. And then step by step, gradually, it was I was doing very well. And first, I was doing at the, this this uh, European circle festivals and then then English speaking and now this film and yeah I think it's not easy but I was at the beginning I wasn't like determined that I you know what I mean that I have to be a famous director and then maybe that's why it was kind of easier for me you know <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, I could see that. And uh, uh, now that you've made a, a narrative film, um, what's next for you? I mean, how do you how do you top uh, making a movie like like this one? I'm you know I'm super happy that this one is uh, it's in the you know it was like actually less than a year ago when we when we've been shooting this film. So it's super fresh. I'm very happy and excited to go to, for the premiere to US. I'm so excited that so many people can see this film in, in US. For what is next for me? I mean, probably next is gonna be a TV series. Yeah. I, I want to try an English speaking one. And then maybe again, Polish film in Polish language. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. Like, yeah, yeah. you, you got to come back home and keep it real. Well, I think, I think so. Yeah. Well, Nago, gosh, this was such a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your time and your film with the world. Best of luck with it. Break a leg. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Take care now.